thank you for sticking with us. This one just broke in the last hour. Yes. And a lot of people are shocked, and yet I am not. Breaking news right now, this just in, Alec Baldwin, he uh, is being charged with involuntary manslaughter. I think it's two counts following the shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust. That's the movie he shot in New Mexico. Now, prosecutors in Santa Fe County just made this announcement this morning. The film's head armor, that's the guy who, who was in charge of the weapons, was charged with involuntary manslaughter also. They both face a minimum of five years in prison if convicted. The assistant director, Dave Halls, he has agreed to a plea deal for a charge of neg negligence Negligent use of a deadly weapon. He will be uh, have a suspended sentence and then six months of probation. Now here's some interesting stuff. No charges will be filed in connection with the non-fatal shooting. Mm -hmm. Remember the bullet that hit Helena yes. went through the, hit her into director Joel Souza. Now that one that hit him in the shoulder. No charges for that at all. And people were like, why is Alec Baldwin being charged? And, I'm, and I kept saying he should be charged. Really? Yes. Why be do you think so? Because he's not only the star, he's also a producer on the project. And there was many people that were saying that they were negligent for the amount of money that was spent cutting corners and not getting the proper uh, people to handle the weaponry on the set of that film. And if cost cutting is the reason that that bullet in that gun was missed, it is involuntary manslaughter. It is. If that led, if cost cutting led to her death, then charges should be filed. Am I saying he should go to jail? No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that if you cut corners on a movie where there is guns on the movie, yeah. then you put people at risk. And a lot of things were said about cost cutting on the set of Rust. And also a lot said by Alec Baldwin himself on his interview with George Stephanopoulos about yeah, yeah. the fact that he knew that he did not pull the trigger. Okay. And he was just so emphatic mm -hmm. about that point. Um, but interestingly enough, it's not just these charges coming down. He has a lawsuit against other crew members saying, you guys shouldn't have given me of a course. loaded gun. Mm -hmm. The other woman charged Hannah Gutierrez Reed, mm -hmm. she has a lawsuit as well against the prop company saying, Why did you guys give me a live round? So there's a lot of finger pointing. It's like, it going really is. It, it really is. And the buck has to stop somewhere. Yeah. Like, you can, do, all, you can do, you do this all, all day long if you want to. But if you hire people to do a job yeah. and those people aren't qualified and you knew that, it's your fault. It's your fault. Also, and this is something that's kind of semantic, when you're on the set of a film, it, you can point the gun six inches off of the person and it will still look like you're pointing it at the person in the film. And so I would never point a gun at anyone. You can point just to the left or right of that person. And I don't know if that's a practice for Baldwin, but I've heard an actor say that before. I would never point a gun directly at somebody unless I had to. And then I triple check that gun before I did it. And I mean, but it was an accident. It was I an think, accident. It was an yeah, accident. Yeah, it's tough to get down to the I would never do because I... It, I have heard him talk about the, the movie Protocol mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. He said he would never as well. And then we've all had these instances where it's, you know, sometimes Some something things happens. Just happen. just something happen. just happens. So is nobody to blame? Is that what you're saying? Is nobody to blame? Gun just went off well, and a woman's no, I mean, dead a and a 10 year old boy, a 10 year old boy has no mom. But her, uh, the, 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 the victim, mm -hmm. her husband, mm -hmm is now a producer on the movie, which would indicate there's some money that's going to be exchanged. Does that negate for, you know, all that's happened? It, it, it doesn't, but it, I also, and I'll say this again, I don't think anybody's gonna go, go to jail. Yeah. Uh, I, I do think that it's one of those things that's an accident, and I do think Alec Baldwin has enough money to pay a bunch of people so that everybody's okay, it's especially that kid, especially right. that kid.